Hi, Leo Drager here. I want to check out a little utility, um, Blue Elephant. So what we're going to do is uh, just start fresh here with the terminal. Um, or actually, let's start with the applications menu. Go down to Kali Linux, uh, go into Web Applications, and then CMS Identification. There's a Python script that you can run blind elephant. So it's blind elephant. Don't forget, it's going to be uh, case sensitive. So if you're, you know, start searching for lowercase b and e in blind elephant, you're not going to find it clearly. Um, the options that you want, the URL, and then particular app names, um, which would be the the versions of uh, the applications or the plugins that you want to fingerprint. So at the end of the day, this is a um, web application uh, scanner uh, of sorts. Okay, so the first thing that you can do is a tack h or dash dash help, um, and that'll show help messages on how to actually use it and a little bit better of syntax. Um, you can have a dash p and then the plugin names, like for example, WordPress or Joomla. You can do a dash s, which skips fingerprint. If you've already done that, then you can skip it, but if you're doing this for the first time, you know, don't skip it or just leave the s off. Um, so that way you can try to guess the fingerprint. The number of probes that you want to uh, try defaults 15, which is okay. Uh, but the more you do, the one larger you, you're uh, making your attack seem. So if you crank this up to like 100, you're very, very obvious what you're doing. If you crank it down to like two or three, then you're just going to blend in with the crowd. Um, the dash W for window. If more than one version is returned, use um, windowing due to attempt to narrow it down. Okay, so that can try to poke and prod the applications in a couple different ways uh, to try to narrow it down. Uh, dash L for list, so list supported web apps uh, and plugins. And then uh, dash U for basically pull the latest update from uh, blindelephant.sourceforge.net. So this is relatively easy to do. Um, so if you just search or start typing blind. Um, and I actually like to tab my way through this. That way I don't have to worry about typos. So please get used. If you haven't done it by now, get used to tabbing your way through things. Um, blind elephant, you know, dash U for update. And just let it run. And so we'll go ahead and let this run. We'll get the latest and data, uh, latest and greatest files, and then we'll pick up um, as soon as it goes back. So uh, that looks like that didn't take too long. Back. All right. Track back most recent call. The file name blind elephant. Um, Another file here, tarfile.py line is open, uh, so the file could not be opened successfully. So the reason is, is because I actually have another window open. So if I close that out, uh, it should work just fine. So let's try it again. So update it again. There you go. Uh, fetching the latest database files. Oh, so much is the same here at this point. So let's see if we get back the same error set of messages back. or or not. Okay, now you can see that it's actually pulling files down. So URL retrieve, open, open HTTP, and headers. You can see that this has a web application feel to it, which is good. Um, some of these may time out, it just depends on realistically what's on the server. Uh, but it looks like I got most of them. So that's fine. So let's go ahead and do it help again and get some syntax here so it's bl it's blind elephant then your options then the url you want to test and particular app name so the second thing that you want to do here is a dash l for list and then you can see all of the different types of things that it'll guess all right it's got some drupal plugins that it can try to guess it's got uh, joomla it's got moodle which is a very popular learning management system os commerce for e-commerce if that's what you're looking for uh, php my admin which is databases and control panel database oriented stuff um, some wikis some wordpress 26 plugins for wordpress every and again there's probably Oh, I don't know, you know, 100,000 uh, WordPress plugins. So it's not a lot in the total surface area, but there's a couple, a couple of them here. You know, stats, tiny MCE, which is a, a 
text editor, Twitter tools and things like that, a couple e-commerce things and uh, some basic stuff, right? And there's only 26 out of you know several hundred thousand. So that's the list. Um, and then you can do the probes that has to deal with how aggressive you want to be. You can do plugin names, etc. So what we're going to do is we're basically going to do um, dash plugin and the specific plugin that we want to do is guess. Um, and guess is literally trying to just guess uh, in, in as many possible ways as possible what the content management system is on that back end. So we're going to use uh, – today we're going to use a target that I created for another project some time ago called Linux Warrior. So we're going to put in our URL, http colon forward slash forward slash linuxwarrior.com. And then what we could also do at the end of this is we can actually choose the app name if we want here. So you either can hit enter here. If you knew it was Joomla, you can just put Joomla. If you knew it was WordPress, you could put WordPress, all lowercase, um, and append it. So we're just going to hit enter here and then let it run. Um, and it actually comes back and tells you, um, you guess as an app or a plugin name to it. Uh, to attempt to discover which important plugins are installed. Um, uh, so it's probably a syntax or it's going to look for, you know, WordPress here. All right. And so there you go. So what I, let's go back and make some sense out of that now. So we put specifically WordPress because in this case, I'll just tell you that it's a WordPress site. Um, but if you didn't know, let, let's kind of do some comparison here. Um, if we control out of that and just guess wrong, it's a so Joomla, okay? And you can see this will run and it'll take some time. So while that's running, I'll review the WordPress and then we can compare what a um, you know a false positive looks like to a not false positive, right? So you can see uh, loaded uh, some Python packages, starting blind elephant, fingerprint for all versions of WordPress for the destination, and it found a hit. There's a readme.html file on the server. And, you know, one thing we could do is just try to open this up right here and see if uh, we can't find, you know, what's, what's in the readme file, okay? So we just go to, uh, to Linux Warrior, and right there the version is 3.93, and I would want to document that. So this is a classic um, readme file that's left over from a default um, well, it's pretty obvious now, WordPress uh, installation. Okay, so uh, no really help there other than the specific version. But notice it doesn't give us the version here in the output, but it does in the actual readme file. So, hey, one point for us. It also got a hit, WP includes. So WP dash includes the WP underscore dash. That's the convention of or WordPress, so that's pretty indicative, right? So that's an easy way you can see that you know WP includes here, uh, here, 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 etc. You can see I found the JavaScript, so I can go see what's in that JavaScript. I got auto save. I've got uh, 27. This happens to be a theme. I can see if that theme is exploitable. Um, you've got some compressed files here. Um, but still, the saying doesn't match the fingerprint. Uh, tiny MCE here, and failed to reach the server. Not found. Error. All versions ruled out. So in this case, we got a uh, not really what we needed directly from this tool. Sometimes it'll come back and tell you exactly what you wanted to see. Other times, this tool comes back and says, you know, basically can't find it for whatever reason. Um, this works particularly well with old and outdated stuff, uh, but some of the latest and greatest uh, this tool does tend to bounce off of. So let's compare that to what we did when um, you know, trying to guess that this was a Joomla site as opposed to a WordPress site. So in this case, it started it. It found the language was English. So there's an INI file here. We could see what's in that INI, but I can tell you it's just a generic INI file. So not too much we're going to learn from that. Um, and again, more language files here, and then all versions ruled out. So in this case, I wasn't able to get too much on the Joomla piece of this, but I was able to get a lot more from the WordPress, especially directory structures and, and things like that. 
Um, and, you know, while we're not supposed to do this, the sites you don't own or don't control are not authorized or don't have permission to. In this case, I actually do own LinuxWarrior.com. Um, and this may be available by the time you're watching this video. Then again, it may not. Uh, figure out what I'm going to do with it or if I'm going to redirect it or take it down or let you guys have some fun with it. We'll see. Um, but that's basically it. That's Blue Elephant. It basically identifies the content management systems on particular websites. Um, pretty easy tool and script to uh, use. So, you know, practice away on sites that you have authorization to do, that you own or that you control. Um, but what I want the takeaway here to be is, is I want you to be able to know how to do this so that you can figure out what your results look like for your sites and, and the things that you have to administer. So my name is Leo Dreger. Thanks for checking me out. And don't forget to connect on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Twitter.